When you're trying to quit and cut back on alcohol, you need all the help you can get. And there's a lot of things that you can do to actually help you on this process. For example, uh, following a lot of sober people or sober curious people on social media or a lot of celebrities who don't drink anymore, those are great places to start so that way every time you get on social media to scroll you're just like bombarded oh sobriety information oh it's cool to be sober it's cool to be sober I don't need alcohol in my life following my YouTube channel same thing same example all these little micro doses of information eventually cause your brain to shift a little faster into just becoming someone who doesn't like alcohol anymore and doesn't drink because it's not healthy for them but another thing you can do while on this path is actually just change your playlist and the songs you listen to so I'm going to share with you guys five of my favorite sober songs these songs are very deep and I think that doesn't matter what side of the spectrum you are you might have a minor issue with alcohol you might have a major issue with alcohol maybe even some other drugs who knows but regardless of it there will be lyrics and things in these songs that you will resonate with. You might even cry, especially if you're in early sobriety. Like, I listened to a lot of these songs and I used to cry a lot when I was fucking quitting alcohol. I'm just like, fuck, it's, oh, it hits so hard. These the lyrics, the feels are so real. But you know what? Every time I'd be mad or upset, I'd just jam out to my sober playlist. And these are my top five sober songs. So I'm going to share them and I'll explain a little bit why I like each one so much. But also... I challenge you, in the comments down below, write out your favorite sober song or your top three favorite sober songs, it doesn't matter, and then eventually we'll turn this video into just like a one-stop shop for everybody to just like download a bunch of sober songs so that way they can help themselves on their journey of becoming alcohol-free, sober curious, whatever it is. So song number five, Jason Aldean drowns the whiskey. And I tried to change up the genres for these songs too to apply to like multiple people. So this one's actually a country song and basically it kind of goes, uh, I'm going to try to remember the chorus. It's like, whiskey's supposed to drown the memory. <laughs> uh, ah, my, my singing, abysmal, I know. But it's whiskey's supposed to drown the memory. I've gone from one to one too many and essentially he's singing about a girl and he's singing about how the whiskey's not working because it doesn't matter how much he drinks, he can't forget her memory. And this song makes me want to be sober because it just reminds me that it doesn't matter how much I drink, it'll never fix the problems in my life and it'll never make anything better and it'll never numb out the bad things that I want out of my life. The real work for getting over people and getting over trauma and all the bad experiences is to actually just sit with it. Sit with it organically, sit with it sober, feel all the feelings. And whenever I listen to this song, it just reminds me that, you know, whiskey will never drown the memory. <laughs> all the bad memories that you want it to drown out. So that's song number five. Song number four is Bad Wolves, Learn to Walk Again, the acoustic version. This one, this one's just brilliant, man. Essentially, it's talking about like addiction and how you have to fall and like break down and lose it all to realize you can walk again. Like that's to me feels like sobriety and quitting alcohol and quitting drinking, especially when you're like knee deep in it because it is hard and it will break you down and it will take you. Like the substances eventually will take you, most people. But here's the thing, like even when it takes you, it's almost just like it beats you down. You know, you come out the womb, you're crawling, you're walking. And then when you get into like substance abuse or you start to wrestle with things like alcohol or drugs or anything else of that nature, it's almost like you lose the ability to walk because of the crippling anxiety, the hangovers, the, the wasted days, the bad moods, the horrible mental health. It's like you go from just a functional person who's walking to someone who's dependent on the substance. So it's almost like you're crawling again and on the floor again. And basically this song just talks about sobriety in that sense. and how quitting and getting sober is, is beautiful. It's just like learning to crawl again and then learning to walk again and then get to the other side. And it's like, hey man, you're back. You're back, you came full circle. Number three, Tom McDonald, Church. Church by Tom McDonald. Now there's a lot of reasons why this song really hits hard, but I'm gonna just like say some of the lyrics. Let me see if I remember. It goes, I pray on my way to the liquor store that they lock the door because I'll lay in my grave if the whiskey pours like it did before. I'm scared. I send up a prayer. 
let's talk about that part for a little bit. So that's basically reminding me personally is that, yeah, yeah, if, if I if I didn't get my drinking under control, I probably would get like liver cirrhosis or some disease or die in a car wreck or do something incredibly stupid or just die from alcohol poisoning at some point, you know? Because that that's where, where drinking eventually ends. And it reminds me of how bad it was for me and how bad it could have gotten. And there's there's just so many other parts of this song. Let me hold on, let me try to remember this next part real quick. One second. Another part I like in the song is I get lost in the dark, drowning in whiskey, and I went in so far, you say you miss me. Break the glass and you'll find me. I'm not who I was before. And this just reminds me of how different a person I am when I drink. Like, let's be real, when I drink, eventually I become someone else. I'm not the same person sober. Sober me and drunk me have two different values. Sober me and drunk me act in two different ways. Sober me and drunk me are not friends. And we have two completely different agendas. And this always, this like reminds me, it's just like, you went in so far, you say you miss me. And it's like, you know, when I was drinking, like, yeah, I ruined a relationship. That's probably the reason why I got sober. You know, I just became someone I'm not. And I threw away a perfectly good relationship a few years ago. And, you know, it is what it is. I've made peace and processed it. But that breakup really did get me sober. And then this song really does remind me of that little fact. And it's more reason to just stay on the path. But anyways, church, It and it's, there's a bunch of it about going to church too. And if you have faith and, like, you believe you're religious, that's cool too. But you don't have to be religious to enjoy the song because I'm not religious but I definitely did find a lot of faith when I could drink an alcohol and it's it's personal it's not a specific religion it's just my own faith my own belief in a higher power beyond myself and sometimes it's really needed especially when you walk this path it's like you learn to trust in yourself more but you learn to trust in the universe more and something more than you and yeah it, it's good guys song number two Dax Dear Alcohol I got wasted because I didn't want to deal with myself tonight. That's pretty much all I have to say. Basically, the song is just about getting wasted and drinking alcohol to escape yourself and using it as a coping mechanism. And I like it because it's a male rapper. And, you know, he talks about, like, taking care of his family and just doing so much stuff. And it's like he takes care of everybody, but nobody takes care of him. So he drinks, basically, to, like, numb himself, to find false confidence, to just... to do the work to not have anxiety to deal with life he drinks to deal with life because he's taking care of other people and this might resonate with some of you guys and yeah I mean luckily for me I'm basically single at this point and don't have to take care of any else besides myself but the lyrics still resonate with me because the searching for liquid confidence in a bottle and using it as a coping mechanism to deal with life that psh, dude I've been there man dear alcohol and then the last song guys is again Tom McDonald sober this is just a beautiful song about sobriety and it's beautiful because it really paints like the darkest side of addiction so well like this song might be over the top for a lot of you people like some of you guys aren't out there like <laughs> I don't know like snorting oxy getting fired getting tatted on your face and like smashing hookers or getting numb off of like porn and alcohol but if you are well, then there's this song, and it's it's just great because he talks about how fucking shitty his life was with drugs and alcohol, and how much he was fucking up. But then he got sober, and the madness was over, and now he is proud of the man he's become. And yeah, it's, it's beautiful, man. It just talks about sobriety. It's the war you'll fight forever. It doesn't always feel hard. It feels hard at the start. It feels hard at the beginning of the journey, but it does get easy at some point. But it is a war. It is a war you'll fight forever because the temptation is always going to be there. At least a little bit, but you don't ever have to act on it. Do I feel tempted to drink these days? No, not really, but it's there. Alcohol is everywhere. So it is the war you fight forever and just it's just so beautiful, you know. Then I got sober. The madness was over. And here I am, almost three years to the day since I quit alcohol, and the madness is over, guys. I had so many issues in my life, so many problems, so many things were fucked up, and since I quit, like, <laughs> I started living again. I'm here, I'm alive, I'm happy, and there's just no problems. It's just, life is, life is good, guys, life is good. So download these songs, listen to them, the lyrics will definitely, they, they're gonna help you guys, trust me, they're gonna help you. They might be a little hard to listen to at times but just play it and when you think about drinking or you think about the journey and you're struggling or you're having one of those dark days in a few months just play your sober playlist that's what i did it helped me out a lot it's very 
cathartic outlet to just let go. Who cares if you cry to these songs? Who cares if you play them on loop in your bedroom? Have fun with them, guys. The links to the music videos will all be down below, and then you can go find them on Spotify, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and shout out to all the artists, Tom McDonald, Jason Aldean, Dax, and Bad Wolves. Thank you for creating awesome sober songs. And I hope this helps people on your journeys. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way